The story comes to us from lacounty.gov. Well, Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gasson announced during a news conference that Los Angeles County Probation Department Supervising Deputy Probation Officer, wow, what a title, Officer Oscar Cross has been charged with the assault of a minor at the Probation Department's Camp Kilpatrick facility in Malibu. Malibu. Isn't that like one of those really rich districts? Um, George Gasson, the DA, said, I am deeply troubled by the recent reports of overdoses, assaults, and weapon possessions within our juvenile halls. The conditions of confinement for these young people in Los Angeles County are truly alarming. We must ensure their safety within these institutions. Our role is to rehabilitate them, not subject them to further harm. Just as we hold minors accountable for their crimes within these halls, we will hold those entrusted with their care equally accountable. What do you mean equally? Hmm. District Attorney Gasson was joined by Los Angeles County Supervisor Lindsay P. Horvath and Los Angeles County Probation Oversight Commissioner Frankie Carrillo. L.A. County Supervisor Lindsay P. Horvath said, Today we affirm the county's commitment to holding perpetrators of violence accountable. A supervising deputy probation officer acting with complete disregard for the well-being of a young person entrusted to his care is rightfully being held to account for his abusive actions. And how long has he been getting away with this abuse? That's the real question. How long has he been doing it? The lights were on at the Hall of Justice Monday night, but it was the announcement Monday afternoon that supervising deputy probation officer Oscar Cross would be facing assault charges that led the way. And after a thorough investigation by the Justice System Integrity Division of our office, uh, we filed one count of excessive force against supervising deputy probation officer Oscar Cross for his conduct against a child in Camp Kilpatrick. She goes on, quoted, I am grateful that the district attorney's office pursued this case, and I will continue to work every day to ensure all of our departments are accountable to the public and to those who are placed in their care. Wow. Los Angeles County Probation Oversight Commissioner Frankie Carrillo was quoted as saying, abuses within the juvenile system date back many decades. I recall my own violent attack while in custody at East Lake Juvenile Hall, after which I was left to make sense of how and why an adult was able to inflict abuse on a child with zero accountability. Well, because he has that tin thing on his chest. The dignity and respect of all Los Angeles County probation clients must be upheld. I applaud our District Attorney George Gasson for ensuring accountability for those who violate the core values of the probation department. Three years ago, a teenager who we're now identifying as Beckham was forcibly bent in half at a juvenile facility in Malibu while deputies attempted to restrain him. The video was critical. DA Gascon referred journalists to the video seen here and obtained by the LA Times in February 2023. People have been commenting on the screams and expressing outrage over the plight of juvenile offenders. The video focuses on an event which reportedly took place at Camp Kilpatrick, a juvenile detention camp in October of 2020. Why the delay in charges being filed? We were not aware of this incident until the LA Times published a story. As soon as they did, we began our own investigation. This investigation take time. People have to be interviewed. There is uh, a substantial amount of work that is involved in doing this type of cases. As to whether the other LA County probation officers will be charged in the event, those cases are currently being investigated. There are still multiple investigations going on that I cannot discuss at this moment. We'll see if he's held accountable. I mean, calling him out, okay. But are we going to see punishment? Are we going to see criminal charges all the way through? Oscar Cross, who's born in 1963, it says, I don't know why they gave his date of birth, was charged in case, they're going to give his case number if you want to follow it, 
BA516562. That's his case number, if any of you want to follow that, on the Los Angeles County Superior Court website. But Oscar Cross, who was born in December 63, was charged in case BA516562 with one count of assault under the color of authority. He faces three years in county jail if convicted. If convicted. And three years, he'll do a little over a year and a half. That's my guesstimation. On October 23rd of 2020, Cross allegedly used excessive force as he and four other deputy probation officers attempted to restrain a juvenile at the L.A. County Probation Department's Camp Kilpatrick facility. Um, now, there's a link in there if you want to click the link in my description box. There is a link at the bottom of the story. You click that, you can watch video of the incident. You can watch some video of the incident. Uh, I guess the whole incident there. The bottom line is George Gasson is saying we're going to hold these guys accountable. Is it because it was a juvenile? Is it because it was in Malibu? That's a high profile, you know, rich district. Or remember the Big Lebowski? We don't want jackoffs in our town. Jackoff. <laughs> it was Malibu. Uh, but also, or is it, you know, is it because of those things? Or is it because he really wants to hold the badges accountable? If so, what's going on over in the LA Sheriff's Department? Luna, are you cleaning it up? No.